Hello everyone, I'm Jessica, and today is going to be my TBR takedown for the month of March. If you're new here, the TBR takedown is just this TBR game that I'm playing this year, where I am trying to take my massive TBR shelves from 240 down to 113. I know that 113 is a weird number. When I started the count for how many unread books I had, it was 226 and I wanted to cut it in half, and then I found out that I have 240 books and I decided that I was going to keep it at 113. Okay, now you know what's up. Let's go. My starting number for the month of March was 105. This may be different than the number that I said at the end of February's wrap-up video because I was wrong. I forgot a book. I forgot um, The Princess Diaries. Yeah, I forgot that I had read a book. So I recalculated my number as I double checked myself um, and I'm at 105. Imagine that. I can't even make it all the way to March without making a math error. My purchases for this month were two. So I'm going to haul them here instead of doing like an actual haul video. The first book that I bought this month was Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. This is the second book to the Renegade series, which I haven't started yet, but I do plan to start soon. So I wanted this book for when I was ready. Plus, even though I haven't started the series yet, the third book is releasing this year and it is on my most anticipated reads list because I loved Marissa Meyer's Lunar Chronicles. So definitely want to get to these. Soon. And the other book that I bought this month is Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas. This is the conclusion to the Throne of Glass series. No, I have not started reading them yet. However, I'm going to start reading them very soon and my aunt has been reading them. If you've been here before, uh, you may have heard me mention that my aunt and my nieces use my bookshelves as their own personal library. So my aunt is reading the series right now and she's about one book away from needing this one. So I went ahead and picked it up so that it would be ready for her when she was ready for it. That book is beefy. So let's get into the reads for the month of March. This gets us down seven books. I am not going to go over these again. I have a full wrap-up video for the month of March and I will link it in the description box below as well as in the cards if you're interested in checking out more about these books. But we're just tallying right now. Avalon High by Meg Cabot. Song of the Dryad by Natalia Lee. Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. What the Dead Want by Nora Olsen. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The Lies We Told by Camilla Way. And Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. So we started at 105, we added two, then that gets us to 107, then we subtracted seven because I read seven books, that gets us at 100. But wait my friends, I also DNF'd four books this month. And they are And I Darken by Kirsten White, Breaking to Zelda by Tabitha Shipley, Robert Michaels and the Demon in the Trees by Ben Sanders, and The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Again, I also talked about these four in my wrap up for the month of March. So if you want to know why I DNF'd them, you should go there. So that puts me at 96 books. Wow. 96 that I need to read by the end of the year. Technically it's 96 that I need to get rid of. So whether I read them or I DNF them or I unhaul them without reading them, all of those things work. At this point in time I need to read about 10 and a half books a month in order to get to my goal which is the same as what it was last month which means I was on point for this month even though I technically only read seven full books. I did DNF enough to get me there. I'm not letting the numbers game play a decision in which books I DNF and which I do not. It's just I apparently have hit a place where I don't enjoy every book that I read. That is one main thing that I have learned since I've started booktube is that just because you've started reading a book doesn't mean you have to finish it. I guess I never realized before when I look at my shelves now and books that I have read over the years, basically if I started a book I kept reading it even if I didn't like it. And I have so many books now that I can read that I will enjoy that I'm not spending my time reading books that I don't enjoy. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about this TBR takedown. If you are trying to get rid of a massive stack of TBR books this year, let me know in the comments below. If you have any videos about getting rid of stuff, let me know. I'm happy to check them out because I love to watch booktube videos because that's why we're here. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and surprise videos on the weekends. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!